Hello everyone, today I have the Taft Hobby Viperjet 90mm EDF and uh, very, I was very excited about that model. The um, build is actually very, it's very nice, the foam is amazing. Um, and it looks really, really good, so it's, it's going to be really interesting to see it fly, if it flies. Um, because the reason I'm saying if it flies is that on initial testing, um, the ESC, uh, which is supposed to be indicated in the, in, on, on the models box and on the internet uh, uh, model specs, is that it includes an ESC BEC back controller uh, with 80 amps um, I found out it is it does not include an 80 amp back uh, electric speed controller but in fact it has a 80 amp no back um, e electric speed controller with a u back um, 8 amp slaved on the electric speed controller um, uh, on initial testing what happened is that we, we set up the, the model and uh, Put the battery. I'm using a Thunder Power 500, 5,000 milliamps uh, six cell battery um, with 45C. Um, these batteries are really good. They're a bit expensive, but they're really, really, really good. Um, what happened is on initial testing, um, as soon as we tested the throttle on the on the EDF engine, um, the electric speed controller blew. I mean, it caught fire and. Exploded, and that was a bit scary because we I was at my workshop, and I was worried that the, you know, fire would catch everything. But thank God, it was just a bit of smoke and uh, just a couple of sparks. Uh, but what happened is, um, let me show you. This is the electric speed controller that was on the model. Um, you can see what happened here. You can see completely burnt from the back you can see the wires you know gone from here um, and what's really frustrating is that it's not a back uh, ESC it's actually a no back ESC with a U back slaved on it uh, an 8 amp U back slaved on it and you can see it here you know, I don't know if, there you go. There it is, you know. Um, and um, this is the, the sticker that was on the electric speed controller. And um, if you can look really closely, you'll find that here it says no back no back uh, which was a little bit frustrating um, and it seemed that it, for somehow it was a defective electric speed controller to begin with and thank god the 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 you know nothing really scary happened but um it, it was going to be a disaster if you know if i couldn't if, if, if it went and caught the actual model i mean my showroom my workshop is not that big but it is crowded with lipos and and other you know hazardous uh, materials so uh, other than that the the servo on the um, front gear uh, landing door uh, the front gear door that closes on the model on the landing gear uh, as you can see here it's not, I, 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 I have to uh, remove it and uh, the reason is that the servo actually stopped working uh, and that uh, this this one hasn't flown yet um, this is just all initial testing on the ground uh, it was on the was on the bench um, and uh, it's just you know a couple of retractions and it just stopped working um, so I had to remove the the door and the screws and of course there's actually there is no access to the servo um, I do have a couple of servos lying around so what I'm going to do I'm going to try to 
find like an ax create an access hole uh, from the side of the fuselage and um, where the nose is and uh, you know try to get a screwdriver to just get in and unscrew the servo um, and change it to something that's more reliable uh, they do state on the on the manual and on the specs of the model on online uh, that the servos are all Metal Gear digital servos. Well, you know, the servos could be Metal Gear, but are they reliable? I mean, if this is happening on the ground and it hasn't flown yet, will the servos of the control surfaces actually work? Will they be able to withstand the high speed of the model um, during flight? Um, I have no clue. I mean, it possibly could ha could be and might not. And that's a 500 US dollar model, so it's not really cheap. It's an actual investment. Um, hopefully, it will fly. I mean, there are a couple of cracks on the on the hinge lines. In the I'm gonna post a picture on the, on the on the video uh, on the elevator hinge line. Um, there are a bit of cracks in the foam. Um, I, you know, I've talked to the guys um, at um, uh, Time Flies, uh, ViperJetUSA.com, and um, they did say that they will replace the uh, the elevator with, with a new one. We're still talking about the the actual electric speed controller. I mean, they tell you, you know, this model is for experienced pilots. Well, I've been around for a while. I know what I'm doing. So it must not be my, I mean, I have flown models. Uh, I have other EDF jets and I have helis and I have 50 cc's and 30 cc's and, you know, I have been flying for a while. I, I have no electronics and I know um, that this issue is actually a defective electric speed controller. But what's disappointing is that the fact that they've mentioned that the electric speed controller on the model is a BEC a ESC, uh, but... In fact, it's a no back ASC with a U-back uh, control uh, with a U-back uh, slaved on it. Um, so that's like false advertising somehow. I'm I'm not really sure what they meant by back controller on the model. I mean, they, if it's back controller, it's back control. And for such a big model uh, with a six cell and an EDF uh, engine with 1,450 kV. I expect to have a back controller on my plane if it's stated on the model's specs and on the box. Um, other than that, it's a great looking model. I mean, it is. it does look really great. I mean, it, if it does fly, and I've seen people flying it online, so I might be one of those unlucky ones who got a model, uh, you know, the guy in, in the Chinese manufacturer, uh, the, uh, the factory was unhappy or you know got confused and um, placed the wrong controller in the, in the model that, that is a possibility I mean it does happen uh, with those Chinese models and um, quality control really is not you know their biggest uh, thing but there are some people who are flying that jet uh, I've seen it fly on, on YouTube and other channels um, I might be one of the you know unlucky ones who got a, a bad controller and uh, and the wrong controller in the model. Um, as for the servo, I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, it should work. Um, it hasn't flown yet. It has only been tested on the bench, just for a couple of retractions. So that's not really a lot. Um, but it's fair to say that the model does look great uh, and if it does fly it will be really really nice to hear the engine the engine does sound beautiful uh, i did get um a um an electric speed controller from t motors an 80 amp beck uh, esc to test that the uh, that the motor is working and thank god the motor is working i mean there's nothing wrong with the with the edf fan and um, it does sound great and it's balanced so that's no issue. My only issue is the the one that I had on the model and the servers that doesn't work in the uh, front door of the landing gear um, uh, of the nose gear and the stupid cracks that I have on the elevator hinges. Um, 
other than that, you know, I'll update you on the flight. Um, if it does fly, hopefully I'll be able to do uh, a flight very soon with the T-Motor uh, ESC that I got from a friend of mine. Um, it should be able to, you know, hold and get that plane up in the air. I'm a bit weary about the um, front nose uh, landing gear door, so I might fly it without. Um, I have the, the door here. You know, here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, it's sitting there. It's not going to really affect its flight performance. Um, it's, you know, it's just for looks. Um, but when you buy a model for that price and it is part of the look, so you do want the you know bling bling factor of the doors closing while you're flying and landing and taking off and all of that. But um, uh, bear with me, and uh, well, I'll see you soon with the maiden flight. Um, also coming up is the Visionaire from uh, Horizon Hobby, um, a 3D foamy model, um, which is a design for 3D with the AS uh, AC. ASX3 um, a stabilization system. Um, I'll do the unboxing soon and the flight review and for the electronics and the plane um, afterwards. Um, see you soon and I hope you enjoyed the, um, the episode and if you have any questions or any comments please do comment on the channel uh, video. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon for the maiden flight of the Viperjet uh, from Taft Hobbies. Thank you.